Hello everyone! Today we will check our blood glucose using the stat strip glucometer. For supplies, we will need the glucometer, the lancets, some 2x2 two two gauzes, alcohol swabs, test strips, a pair of clean gloves, and finally a sharps container. First, we want to make sure to assess our patient's fingers, rotating sites to ensure that we are not causing too much trauma to one finger or one site from continuous pricking. To ensure that we keep their tactile sensations as intact as possible, we want to stay away from pricking the middle of the finger pad. We want to try and use the sides instead if possible. We also want to try to avoid pricking right at the tip of the fingers because it could sometimes be more painful there. And lastly, we want to make sure that our patient's hands are clean. We can take an alcohol swab and further clean the selected finger and then allow it to dry. In the meantime, we can prepare the glucometer. Uh, tap on the screen to turn the glucometer on. Click on the login button at the bottom of the screen. It's asking for the operator ID. Let's pretend it's 22 and press accept. The screen will show patient test, GLU, which is what we want. So go ahead and press accept again. The screen will then ask for the strip lot number. If it's already entered, then go ahead and press accept. If not, you will need to enter the information by pressing scan on the bottom of the screen and you need to take your test strip container and scan the barcode on the container and then press accept. For the patient ID, we would scan the patient's armband or enter their number and then press accept. We don't have a patient in this case, so I'm just pressing the number one. Then the meter is ready to accept the test strip. So insert the test strip with a gold colored metallic end facing you. Now the meter is ready to accept the blood sample. Make sure that you have your blotting gauzes set aside and ready. Select the correct setting on your lancet. If the patient's finger has thicker skin or is calloused, you may need to twist to select the larger setting on the lancet. Twist off the top cover until it comes off. Remember to put on clean gloves before handling the patient's bodily fluids. I'm not wearing any here because I'm pricking my own finger for demonstration. Prick the finger by pressing firmly on the other end of the lancet. Wipe off the first drop of blood because this is more diluted with interstitial fluid and may not accurately reflect the actual result. Collect the second drop of blood. You will need a sufficient amount, otherwise the machine will give an error reading. Hold the machine with a test strip perpendicular to the finger to allow the strip to absorb the blood properly. And of course, don't forget to apply pressure to the finger to stop the bleeding. You may need to apply pressure for longer than two minutes if your patient is on any blood thinners. When finished, remove your gloves, dispose of the used strip and lancet in the sharps container, and document the results accordingly. This may be recorded on the diabetic record and maybe the medication administration record, but this will depend on your facility. Then the glucometer gets placed back on the dock so that the batteries can be charged. You may need to sanitize the glucometer if needed. And that's it. I hope this helps.